All right, welcome back to the channel and my playthrough of Monster Hunter World, the board game. Uh, leading off with some news, I have been doing a rule wrong this entire time, which is going to make this game a bit more difficult. We should be at 15 time now. Uh, previously, when? Where are the cards? There they are. There we go. Previously, when I had resolved the chord with this symbol, I had just done it uh, regularly and redu reduced it from my physical defense. However, that is not uh, physical damage. That is elemental damage, which completely bypasses physical defense and only goes by whatever elemental defense you have. So in this case, if the Toby Kodachi hit the great sword with this, he would take the full six damage because he has no electric defense. Woo! So going forward with that, we're going to be doing that. Even though that's... That's going to make this game so much more difficult. What the? But we will try our best. Even though my best is... Not the best. <laughs> but you know, we're going to try. So, uh, with that in mind, instead of doing an Angino investigation, we're going to be doing a Toby Kodachi investigation, since the Toby Kodachi should be a bit easier to kill. This is a two-store investigation, so it's it starts at 65 health. Its special ability, electrifying. When you determine the Toby Kodachi's target for an electric behavior, remove it from the board, yada yada. Move any hunters and resolve the behavior as normal. Behaviors with the electrical attack get plus one damage. So, this thing's very deadly. Uh, for breakpoints, its head has a five break and remove leaping bite from the behavior deck when you break this. And if we break the sides, behaviors with the stun effect inflict minus one damage. Okay. And we are, oh, let's get our palicos. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this every time, but we do. Um, let's give the gun lance the vigor wasp play because I, with elemental being how they are, I get the feeling. I get the feeling that we're going to be taking a lot more damage and these fights are going to be a lot closer. So, two-star investigation, time 35. The game's a little vague as whether we should do this every time or just at the start of the campaign, but whatever. So, we can start at 2, 3, 4, or 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, we're going to go with 4. If starting here, the group gains 2 potions, good, we're probably going to need it. So we can dive into the waterfall, discard two cards. Each hunter rolls in the following table. Once each hunter proceeds to enter 11, or leave it behind and backtrack to the cave. Discard one time, 29, or discard six and just go right there. Uh, let's get some things, huh? Discard two time cards. Each hunter rolls on the following table. I need some material. If I'm going to beat these things. So, one and five. So an ancient bone and a coral crystal. Ancient bone for you. Coral crystal for you. Okay, then proceed to entry 11. Uh, hunker down the bone pile, discard one time cord. Each hunter gains a quality time bone or one monster bone large. Uh, the monster bone morges are seem pretty good for the bone weapons. They actually don't need bone weapons. What about for you? No, so ten quality bones. That's, the gun lance requires so much material. Yeah, we're just gonna get two quality bones each. Not two each, one each, two all together. Bah.
What do you even need the Monster Bone Lords for? It doesn't... Nothing uses it. Whatever. We're not going to worry about that. Literally nothing on these sheets requires a Monster Bone Lord. Okay. Fine by me. So, progress to entry 35. Oh, not page 35. Entry. There's something wrong. The noise of the forest. Da -da -da. It's scored one time quarter. <laughs> okay, well, we're fighting it, but we didn't get any track tokens. So, if you finish equal to or fewer than the minimum, front flip slam to the deck. Let's go. There we go. Shuffle. Let me get my cards. So five. Okay, that's pretty good. Like it, like it. Like having water elemental against the Toby Kadachi since it's so weak to it. Uh, Gordup's, well, Gordup's kind of worthless now, but whatever. It's nice having the, uh, stun, because if we can stun it, then we'll be able to easily dodge its, um, electric attack, hopefully its electric attacks, but we shall see. So, uh, let's reveal its guard. It's attacking the closest. Okay, move forward three. Uh, so it's attacking the great sword. One, two, and it does actually get there, which is annoying. And it's an electric attack. So move forward three attack at a range of one and all arc six lightning damage. Evasion value of four. Two hunter turn to two cards each. Okay. So, I can try to dodge a four. We can actually, but it's the great, it's the one. I don't want to do it to the flipping thing. Okay. It's attacking the closest again next round. Yeah, we're just going to take this. No, it's going to be, have to be seven because of its ability. Well, t Seven and eight, like it really doesn't matter between those two. So fine, two hunter activations each. Let's go. And look, and then there's something scripted here. I just have to keep writing it down, which is nice. Although I will still write down the hunter activations. So first one is going to go to the great sword. He is going to hit. Which one do I want to break? Because this has two break. I want to break the sides. So we're going to shimmy one over here. Boogie woogie. We can still get to the side. We will. Actually, no, we won't do that. Shimmy to the side first. Not that it matters, but we're going to tackle, which gives us a move. Then one cord. For three points of damage, brought down to one. This armor is so annoying. And it has a stun. Then we will do the strong thing, which is two cards. And an elemental. So that's four damage. Oh, and I forgot to put two break points here. Okay, and that is it for the greatsword. Next, it's the gun lance. He's going to move up. So now he's going to take... No, he's not, because we have to do the time cord. Um, let's get rid of one of these. That gets the rack, and we get three cords. One, two, three. 
Okay, another another water element. That's cool. And we get remove one from each monster body part that isn't broken. The monster recovers five health. So absolutely, well, we put one break token on. Other than that, we did nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. Next is the gun sword, gun lance. He's gonna move up. He gets two court. He can't stun it because that needs two combo two. He's gonna guard up to try to defend, I guess. Then he's gonna do this for one. For one. <clears throat> the fact that you're not able to do anything with this armor is. I, I'm pretty sure I said that before, but that's so annoying. So. That gets discarded. We can discard some of this. I mean, I guess we can keep that. Draw two. Okay. And our effect card. Roll it. All right. Kill the flight of the room. And you already know it's going to be me who falls asleep. Four. Your hunters suffer sleep. Which is... You can't place attack cards on your stamina board to attack, move, or dodge until the end of your next turn. <sighs> okay. Fine. Next is going the Toby Kadachi. It is... It goes to face the gun lance. But that means it's going to... It hits everybody. A four dodge or seven, so... Gun Lance has taken seven. He's down to one. The Great Sword can't afford to take seven, so he has to try to dodge. One, two, three, four... I mean, we don't have the stamina for this, then. Right, we're not going to have the stamina for a lot of stuff. And then it moves one away. So then, three hunters get two cards each. Jeez. Okay, I guess we'll let the... Uh, what's it called? Gunlands go first. He can't do anything. He'll just sharpen his sword, I guess. Does he take a potion for this? It feels so bad. This should also be gone. We're just not going to do anything. Whatever. I'll put a threat shift. Great. So now it is the great sword's turn. Um, he'll overhead smash. It's the only thing he can do. One card. On the I have to move up first. You could have moved up as well, cause why not? Still going on that side. Doesn't matter. Two. So one point of damage. Okay, so we get to discard this, draw back out to four. And the Great Swords encounter is nothing. One more player gets an activation. I guess we'll do it on the Great Sword. He'll sharpen and drink a potion so he can like do something. Uh, we'll do have done the Vigor Wasp play last turn for them. So at least he's back up to full. Everybody's back up to full. But like, 
This is going south so fast. Oh, we have this. So we can do the prep in the same turn. Okay, so that was that. So now we can actually do some damage, maybe. We can stun it. Do I stun it or do I just try to overhead smash it? Now we're going to charge up. Tackle. We can move to here. We don't have to move. We're still getting that side. It is stunned. So its next attack has a dodge of one. We get one whole cord. Four. So we deal two damage. And our, this does not count towards that. And it also gains plus one break. So this has another break point. And our second cord is... It feels so bad to do this on a... But it also feels bad to overhead smash. Because we need the dodge for this thing. Because if it has those electric attacks, we're all just dead. This thing had plus one damage for its electrical attacks. So the gun lands should have been dead. Well, he had his full hand. So he would have been like this. One, two, three, four. So that he dodged it. But then I wouldn't have to have done this. So he still has the Vigor Wasp play. One of these would have gone. And he would draw him back up to five. Okay, we're back. I guess we'll just do a true sword slash, get two cards for three damage. That goes away. We can we'll keep both of those because they work well together, obviously. One, two, three. Okay, we get another strong slike and slash, if that actually matters. And this thing is roll a dice. Uh, three. Place one break token on a monster body port of your choice. I did not do a second attack. I didn't want to do a second. I did do a second attack. Okay, so we can be one away from breaking this. But that's going to do that. So we're just going to do one on the head. Okay. That's that. So now it's the monster activation. Attacking the closest, which is going to be the great sword because he has the highest threat. This again. Oh, I forgot to do the flip thing for last time. Because when it does the things... Place it on the furthest rock node from its current node without changing its facing. So this one would have gone all the way over here. Which means we wouldn't have had to dodge anything. hi uh, We're just going to put that there and just roll with it. And then it would have moved one away. So it would... The entire turn is messed up then now. No, we're just going to do it like this now. So, yeah, you still have that. Whatever. We just we just run it stupid. Okay, so this goes away. It doesn't deal damage. And then it one, backs away one. And the stun only lasts for the next attack. So it's no longer stun. We wasted stuns on nothing. So now three hunters get two cords each. Which is going to be bad. Because we're, we're just so far away from it. One. 
one for the great sword. And that's that just has to end his turn. Well, first it has to be the gunlands. One for the gunlands. He'll discard this for an extra move. Do it down here. Discard this so we can have some actual stamina space. None of the charge shell. One, we get three cards. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. Three, f seven damage. So five. Okay. And that can only, that ends the turn. So now let's see what he gets for his card. Up to 200 from each move, one node eight. That's good. One. We're just going to let you stay there. He could have discarded. He's not. Discard that. Draw three. Okay, now it's the great sword's turn. Move up here for one. Discard this for one. Two cards. Um, he's in the head right now, which is slightly annoying. Strong Slash, which is two breakpoints for the head. And we get two cards and an elemental. The head has an armor of two. So four damage. What is with these cards? Okay, that was one second. Can I even do this? I can do this. This, another break point on the head, so we're, we're almost breaking that. We get two cards, three damage. This was the fifth, so we may discard it. Uh, we're going to discard this for a turn. Draw three cards. And reveal our encounter, which is... They scored four time cords. Each hunter may show up in the weapon and use a potion for the Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, we still get one more activation, don't we? I have not been keeping track of that. I'll be right back. Yeah, I get one more activation. Has to be the gun lance. And where is the gun lance? You can hit the head and the side, both of which are about to break. But he doesn't have any breaks. Lunging up thrust. He can move one. He's not going to move one because he can't. Two because it's his first attack. Three damage. Second one is just do a burst, which lets me discord it right away. But two shells, and it just it ignores one armor. So that's three more damage. Okay, and that's his turn. He can. We don't need both of these. Discard that. Discard that. Get three. One, two, three. Okay, and his card is roll a dice. Discard cards equal to the die roll. The best one. Five. 
Okay. So then closest, which is going to be the great sword because he says got the thing of a jiggy. Electric again. So first it moves all the way over here. It does the attack. It's so weird to do this because it's always almost always gonna be a miss. Why does the Toby Kadachi have this effect? The range is nothing. One closer. Oh no. And then one hunter gets three activations, which has to be... No, it can be anybody. Did I use the potion? Yeah. Uh, we're going to let the greatsword go first. So he gets one move. Then he's going to tackle it, which gives him another movement. Draw a card. One point of damage, and it's done. And then... We only have one more. So one more to break. We break the head. Which means remove Leaping Bite from the deck. These get shuffled back in. And now we get two cards, two damage, which is four. We discard this because of the ability, this because of our thing. I'm going to keep the wide slash because we need the stamina. I guess we're going to get rid of these overhead smashes. We're never playing the, all these. Two. Four. Okay. And encounter is... You may discard one attack card from any slot on the board. That's what I like to see. And then that was one for three. The cord's gone, but he has one three. And then Hunter attacks the closest, which is the great sword again. Electric. So it's going to go furthest. So it's going to go here. It's actually going to hit the gun lance uh, for six, which of course he doesn't have any defense against that. So he's down to two. Then he moves one away. I guess he, I guess he just backs himself into the corner. And then three hunters get two cards each. Starting with the gun lance. So, let's discard something so we have some room. Well, overhead smash, one damage card for one damage. It is going to break the side, though. So now those super awesome attacks deal one less damage. Oh boy. So instead of taking only one attack and dying, we might take one attack and die. One. Second, it's going to be... Can it do that? This one. Flip one of these so we get two cards, which is two damage. Uh, we're now going to flip the Vigor Wasp play since it wouldn't have flipped earlier. That's the only thing I changed from messing up with the thing is that we got the Vigor Wasp play back. That's done. His time is... I'll put... Okay. That's fine. Did he throw it back up? No. Did he discard? No. No. 
Okay, now it's anyone's turn. It's attacking the closest right now. Um, we're going to let the Gunlands go next. So he has defense if in case it's a physical, which, like, none of them are physical. And we can do this. That's nice. So that's th three. And a stun. So its next one, its next one has no dodge, which I'm not sure if I should have played Gord up if that's what I was going to But I'm out of stamina, so it's whatever. So five damage. Okay. Then we discard this. I mean, we're just sharpening next turn. I already did that. Time cord is nothing. And now it is the great sword's turn. One to move up. We can tackle. It's it's every place it can get as <sighs> we'll move up so I don't have to waste the stamina. One for one point of damage. And then wide slash, which will let me discard it right after for another one point of damage. Discard that, discard that. Gain two, discard that. Got the water elemental. And your time cord is. Uh, so he's going to take two damage because, of course, he is. Five. Called it. And now it is the Toby Kadachi's activation. It is going to target the gun lance. Because that's how that works. It does that thing again where it does no damage because it goes over here, does nothing, then comes back. One hunter gets three cards each. Um, I forgot to put one for the great sword. So it can be anyone. We're going to let the gun lance go next because... Also, it's no longer stunned. Yay. He needs to sharpen. Sharpen all that. Flip, 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 flip. Discord that. Do I want to discard any of these? It's probably all fine. And our time cord is... <laughs> it, it gets double activation. Perfect. We're going to have, say, we move, just in case it gets another elemental attack and jumps right on this stupid rock. So, attacking the closest, which is the gun lance. It's not. Two range, one, two. It's just out of range. Doesn't move, doesn't do anything. And then it attacks again. Attacking in the furthest, which is the greatsword. Actually, they're both the same, so it's still the gun lance because he's got the higher threat. One, two, three, four. Okay. Six damage to the face. We can. It's physical damage, though, so we can actually block this. One, two, three. So it only takes three damage. Okay, and then one hunter gets two cards, which has to be the great sword. Two cards should be just double overhead smash. That's three. I don't have double. Oh well. Can I get to the butt? Um, not easily. Now, I felt wasting stamina. So he's going to move one up. 
uh, he is going to do the strong slash so that he can do something. Uh, so that's two in an element for two defense. Three damage. Perfect. And his second one is... God, I just... Uh, we're going to do a wide slash just so we can manage my stamina. And now we get the four. Two, so that goes away. Stupid. That goes away there. That goes away there. I can discord. The way I'm managing my stamina, I'm not getting this anytime soon, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Draw four. One, two, three. Okay, and that was his two cards. So now he gets, uh, the monster gets an activation. Electric attack. At least this time it'll probably click close to something. Targeting the closest, which is the greatsword. One, two. I guess this. Oh, this is bad. Because this is hitting everybody. Three. Dodge of four. This will kill both of them. One, two, three, four, nothing for you. I can't even do it because I don't have a two. So the So the great sword just did. He's at zero, so we lose, I believe, two time cards, which is amazing. He loses all his stamina. This will be back to eight. And we lose two time cards, which probably means we're just going to lose. He's off the board. And next, uh, two hunters get two activations each. It's a tie. We'll let the great sword go because he's right here, fresh and ready for the battle. Am I right? No. You can go right here, right in the butt. We can finally hit the butt. We got a couple overhead smashes at least. So that's what, two cards? I guess we'll do it. One for one point of damage. Another one, he has to show up in next turn for three points of damage. And that is it. Or right that. That. Time cord is all players threat token to the left. Okay. So now it's the gun lance's turn. He has no stamina left. He's just going to do nothing so he can get a little bit of stamina back. That. These are both fine. One. Oh, let me faint it. One faint. And his time cord is... Draw a random palico and give it to a hunter that does not have a palico. That would be you. Well, I guess random means all the ones we did. Group up, would you? Malatov Crocktail. Okay, so we can at least break the tail, assuming we survive. And 
monster activation, targeting the closest, which is now the greatsword. Two towards it. One, two, one, two. Seven damage in the front orc. Unless you can dodge five, which can you? We can, one, two, three, four, but it's the entire thing. The entire thing. Do I just take it? And we have a potion. And we'll take it. One, it stuns, so he goes down, down to two cards. Oh, it's a physical defense, so it's actually good. So it's actually seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we only take one damage. That's actually nothing. That's fine. But now he has to discard down to two. This isn't getting there in time soon. This will be gone. Okay, so now three hunters get two activations each, starting with... It is a tie, so we're going to let the great sword go first. Uh, he will do. The strong slicing slash, whatever it is. What does the rock do for us? May move one note without placing cards. Oh, so we can get into the butt. Well, it doesn't matter because we have the palico that can break it. But the tail only has one armor. Okay, so one to move here and then fall down over here. We're doing this. For He has to sharpen. So first he's just going to have done that. Sharpen. And we'll say he gets the defense boost. Not that it really matters. And then discard this. Draw three. One, two, three. Okay. That. I mean, if we get lucky, he can probably kill it next turn by himself. But the time cord is nothing. Now it has to be the Great Lance, Gun Lance. He has to move one up. Does he have a move one? He does. Lunging up thrust to go here. He draws two cards since it's the first one. So four damage. We're going to break the port because we can because we have this thing. And he has one more cord activation, which will be to I can't even do that, so never mind. That's two, that's two, that's two. Yeah, we'll just do this for two. One, two. Four more damage. Okay. And we get to discard this. Discard that. Discard that because it's not coming up. One, two, three, four. Okay. And this thing, which is your hunter's discords down the tail. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to keep that one. One, two. Okay, so. Great sword turn. Moose here for free. He gets two activations. This should be the last one because he's got both of the water elementals, which is three cards. One, two, three. It only has one defense, so three, six, seven. So it's at one. And then the next one just instant kills because it can't be reduced to zero. Okay. That was very close. 
Okay, but we got there eventually. Jeez, and Pete. Okay, so what do I get for two store investigations? Two hunters, four dice each. Okay, so we get all the broken ports, which is a bag, which is a pelt, a membrane, and an electrode. Double six, a two and a one for the great sword. Double six, a uh, wow. The same, what are the odds that they're going to get the same dice roll? I don't know. Oh, well, I will do this off camera. I'm just going to try to get the as much armor as I can, considering... We can't do anything else with Toby Kodachi material. And that is it for this episode. Uh, next time, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Angino investigation or the Toby Kodachi rank 2. But I will figure that out. And until next time, take care.